So today we are here to check out the Mpiji Express project progress. As you can see, I'm here on top of this hill where they excavate the maram which they use for constructing the road. In my back, you can see there is a very there are very many heavy machines extracting maram from there and the express road is over there. It goes around the entire town and it comes up to this side. This is the side where it connects to Busega. So we are going to be sloping down, guys, and I'm going to be showing you each and everything happening, the progress of the MPG Express project. But before we go down to the road, let me first show you where the maram, which is used for constructing the road, is excavated. This is the top of the hill where the maram is excavated. And guys, the views here are very, very spectacular. You see green over there. Uganda is indeed a beautiful country green around the beautiful hills uganda is indeed the pearl of africa so this is where the maram is excavated guys these are very big rocks huge stones the place is excavated and my god we are on top of a, a hill those are heavy trucks uh, fetching mar maram from here to the valley down the valley so this is how it is guys and this is where we are coming from so these are one of the machines they use the chinese use to fetch maram down the down the valley at the express road wow look at this dish guys I told you guys that I'm going to be making for you exclusive videos. I'm not only showing you the road, I'm showing you how everything is done from scratch. So here we are on top of the hill where they get the maram from and now we are sloping down to show you the road project itself. So guys, it is very, very steep here. Right now we are sloping and it is very, very steep. We are going down valley. So right now guys, we've approached a town called Lungala. Lungala also the PG Express Road project passes through this town. So this place where I'm standing right now used to be a wetland. I remember finding water whenever I traveled to Mpiji around this entire area with papyruses. But as you can see they have done a very very commendable work, very very prestigious work. This is the drainage channel. This drainage channel is going to be going through across the entire road. You see, we have some water down the drainage channel. It is very, very huge, and it will be crossing to the other side because on the other side as well, we have another road. This road is going to be very, very wide. I think on this point right here, it's going to be a four lane or six lane. That's what I think because I can see from both sides, they are expanding on both sides, guys. What do you think, guys? Let's go down here and see how the drainage channel is and guys you should also tell me what you think of the quality of work because these are the drainage channels are they good well standard you can let us know in the comment section down below guys so this is where the drainage comes from guys that's where it is coming from and that this is the water which was left uh, if you look closely there are some stones had calls in that water those are the stones they poured first on the floor i remember sometime i came here and they were excavating the clay out after excavating the clay in this area they poured had cold stones those huge huge stones and later they started pouring maram so 
they are taking it slow but I love the kind of work they have done guys let me know what you think about the project in the comment section down below That is the old highway and right now we are riding on the new highway which is under construction right here. So guys, this is another place where their construction is very very busy. On that side they are doing excavation as you can see. And let me tell you, let me take you down here and you see how elevated this road is going to be. This road is very, very elevated. I think it's going to be higher than the old highway, which is on my side there. So let me show you guys. Actually, where I'm standing right now used to be people's houses and gardens. But the road project has taken over everything, guys. Let me, tell, let me show you the original level of the ground. If you're seeing that house down there, that house looks like it was in the valley. So the original ground was the ground of that house where it is sitting. But right now it is high into the skies. And uh, tell me, what do you think about that, guys? Let's go to another point. On this other side, guys, you see, there is a very big, huge drainage channel, which they are constructing. This is how it looks like. It's a very huge one, guys. That's the drainage channel, guys. So guys, this is another area where they have excavated Maram for the road project for the MPG Express Highway. But again, the road is going to pass here. That is the old road, the old highway, MPG Highway, it goes to Masaka, Western Uganda, Barara. And on that side, we have the MPG Central Police Station. You see the road is very busy, the old road. Mpiji Highway, Mpiji Masaka Highway is one of the busiest roads in Uganda because it links the central part of Uganda, the capital city, to the western part of the country and also it links to some of our neighboring countries, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi and the DRC. So after the construction of this road project, this is going to lessen on the traffic along the road. You see, it handles huge, huge vehicles, the old road. This is how it looks guys and kindly let me know, tell me your thoughts about the project. With me, I'm here with my driver, Mwami Wakuitani Sebo. Begalonadi. 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 It's actually my border border driver, he's taking me around and he's really a good person, very very patient with me. So he has given us some little information about the area you can see. The road project has made the prices go high into the skies, land prices here. I remember making a video for you guys about buying land here in Impiji before prices go up. But right now he has told you that prices are already high. Over the side we have a beautiful hill, that hill is called Mbale Hill. That hill is very, very important to the Uganda Kingdom and the people of Uganda because that, that used to be a home to one of the legends in the Uganda Kingdom. There was a special man who had supernatural powers. He would fly from point A to point B. We call it teleportation in the modern language. So he would fly from point A to point B, Chibuka or Mumbale. Olosuwe usosibla Chibuka or Mumbale? Olo. Chicho omanyiku Chibuka or Mumbale? Chibuko Mumbale. Mm. 
Simai nyo chwa vinenga ba gamba yari yari kali bata wanya nyaba nyolo. Nyaba nyolo. E atimbu chibu komba yari wasa mukazi mnyolo. Hmm. Oyo mukazi na ba gamba atambuli da mukari. Hmm. E amu la ba kari wekani nyoka tinga mukuba mwa kasari. Hmm. Katwa mukuba kasari na afira wali re umoti gwe wali umoti yabo ba tumo ba chibu komba. Buri ya ukulusozi wa bula. Okay. Kati gobi no obi manyo tia babi kuni miza babi kuni miza babi kuni miza. Hmm. Nengo lo zabi tufu. Bobi tufu. That was a short history lesson, guys. Let's proceed with the road project. So, guys, this is another side of the MPG Express Low Road Project. Let's see what is happening here. This also was a wetland, but right now it was uh, the land was reclaimed and uh, the road project is taken on here. So that vehicle you're seeing in front of us is pouring this water to minimize on the dust on the road because these huge trucks use this road while bringing in maram for the road here. This is the road project, guys. As you can see, the road is very, very big, very huge. I think this side is going to be a fallen side. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, there is security here. The road is well guarded, not laying around. This is the Mpiji Express Highway, guys. So before constructing this huge road, the first put up this small road which you see we are using this is what they first put up because this entire place was a wetland after constructing this one they started working on that if you watched my first video about the PG Express Highway they first started with a drainage system and right now I'm happy that the road is going up in the sky it is raising up in the skies yeah you see those vehicles on top there they are Let me see if the Chinese man won't stop me. <laughs> Someone has told me it is okay, and I asked whether when the Chinese man stop me from recording, and they say that no, you know, gaining access to these projects here in Uganda, filming them, I don't know why they don't allow us. That's a problem. I think Unra is watching. You can send this video to anyone concerned in Unra to see, because I, 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 was, I was trying to get access to the Kampala Flyover Road project, but I was refused from recording the project guys the road is very huge it is very very huge here wow this was the wetland you see water down there this was a wetland they have just poured water here soil soil they have just poured soil here let's go maybe we shall have a chance of talking to the chinese engineers because i see there is a chinese man here <laughs> wow. wow guys this one is operated by a woman wow <laughs> this is impressive the grader is operated by a woman oh my god guys that grader is operated by a woman that is so surprising to me Wow! <laughs> this is spectacular and unbelievable. It's a woman operating that one, the grader. Wow! Wow! Here is the Chinese man. Hello, Niha. You're good. I want to talk to you. He has refused. He has refused to talk to me, but let's record. 
So these are the vehicles. Wow, this is impressive, guys. This is the entire road project. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. This one is going to be a huge one, guys. Tell me your thoughts about it. Yes, boss. How are you? I don't have any problem. No worry. Yeah, that, that is security, guys. I've tried to speak to the Chinese man. He has ignored me. So let me do my work. Wow. So the other machine you're seeing there is operated by a woman. And these two are operated by a man. That is so impressive. That is so impressive. Oh, my gee. This one over here is operated by a woman. Guys, that's a woman in control operating that machine. Oh God. So this is the road project, guys. So right now, let's go to another part of the road project. Let's see what they have so far done on the other side, guys. That is the Chinese man who has refused to talk to me. I wonder why he has refused to talk to me. And again, let me record. Because they usually prohibit us from recording. But this time, everything was magical. I think it's a, mi a miracle. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going through as one of the workers. No one is bothering to stop me. Guys, you're lucky. Many of you have been asking me an update on this project. So there we go, there we go, guys. So guys, on this side, this is the plant for the Chinese. 
this is where they keep their equipment for this project the trucks the tractors the graders everything is put here and also the materials so this is where this is another point for the road construction guys this project is very very huge oh my god i cannot even cover the whole of it in one day so this is where they are doing everything right now guys these are the huge vehicles and structures right now they are done with work right now they are done with work and uh, they are going to park so this is where everything is guys and uh, kindly tell me guys what you think give your thoughts about the project in the comment section down below this is a huge road project that is going to change a lot in the traffic in this area of Mpiji. the UNRWA offices. This is where the Mpiji UNRWA station is. This is Toto Mpiji. This is Mpiji Toto. Mpiji is quite uh, getting developed. Mpiji town is uh, one of the towns which are now developing at a very very fast speed guys. So this road takes us to Mpiji town and uh, right now we are going to climb that special hill. The hill of Tibuka or Mumbale. This is the Mpiji Unra Station, Uganda Revenue Authority Mpiji Station. And the Mpiji Central Police Station is here. The building is quite old, it's a, it's a colonial building. And guys, here we are going to be climbing the beautiful hill, Tambuka. So this is the road which takes us to the Chibuka Omumbale Hill. Chibuka Omumbale Road. This is the road which goes up there, guys. town in the valley right now we are on top of the hill and whatever you're seeing down valley is in Fiji town
wow 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 guys it is very very beautiful here oh my god let me give you some little history about this place on that side we have ministry of lands offices in pg that side we have some residential houses i think that is where we have the mpg radio station mukulu radio station jiwa ita mpg ediwano nauri ya konga baga manti mpg radio ediyao yeah the radio station used to be there but it's no longer functioning it's no longer in operation so guys let me show you the beautiful scenery of mpiji town this is the chibuka omumbale hill which we were talking about previously it is beautiful the green the breeze oh my god this is priceless here are the spectacular views guys wow wow and actually, on top of this hill, we can see the Mpiji Express Road project very, very well. And also the old highway, the Kampala Masaka Highway. We've been to that point where they're excavating Maram, and the road goes right around there. And we first went to that beautiful hill where they're excavating Maram as well, guys. Mpiji is such a beautiful place and it is underrated. It is still green here, not so much congestion, not so much noise. And the road project, I believe, is going to bring a lot of development in the area. Already we can see land, land prices are hiking up in Mpiji town. So it's high time you come and invest in Mpiji, especially in real estate, before things escalate, before prices continue going up. Because right now the road project, the PG Express Highway is not yet completed, but land is already skyrocketing. So if you invest earlier now, before things escalate, it will be a better, better thought. Also something I wanted to tell you guys, that side, that vast land you're seeing there. So there are so many plots of land over that side and land in that area is around 50 by 100 is around 8 m. And again, that is Entebbe side. Entebbe town is on that side. Something like 13 kilometers from here. That is around eight miles from here. We have Entebbe International Airport around there. In those beautiful hills you're seeing, but they're a bit faint because they are very far from here. But Entebbe town is right there. Wakiso district is right there. We have a road, a road which comes from Bikondo town there. It goes it goes and connects to Kasanje town, through Kasanje town to, the, to Lake Victoria. At Lake Victoria there is a ferry which crosses people from Mpiji to Entebbe or to Wakiso district. And that ferry takes around 20-15 minutes to cross from this point to the other. Let's continue exploring Mpiji town and also the Mpiji Express Road Project. This is so beautiful, guys. Oh my God, I feel like I don't want to leave this area. <laughs> the breeze. Mm. It's a nice place to come and have a picnic, uh, chill over the weekend with your family. You can travel from Kampala or Entebbe. Come and catch up with life here. That side is the Butambala Highway. That road goes to Butambala, the maker of Muslims here in Uganda. Wow, people have come here to chill. Maybe they have come to catch up with the weekend. Hello. Oh, what's up, what's up? Fine, fine. So it's a weekend spot, it's a chilling spot. You see people are going up the, the hill to catch up 